All right, so I'm going to solve another uh, radical equation for you. First thing I want you to notice is this example right here. There are two radicals. So this is going to behave and perform a little bit differently than the two examples I just did before. The method is still the same. So we want to square both sides. So the left-hand side, let me just rewrite this a little bit. x minus 5 plus 1. Remember the whole right-hand side. All right, so we want to square the left. We want to square the right. And right away, you're looking at the right-hand side and saying, oh my gosh, that just looks pretty complicated, and it is. But I'll take you through it step by step. All right, so the left-hand side just becomes x. So the right-hand side, let's just, let's foil this out. Um, and so it's going to be the first term. Here's the first term times itself. So the first term is going to be squared, first times first. And then our outside term is going to look like this. 1 times the radical x minus 5. The inside term looks like this, 1 times the radical x minus 5. And then the outsides, that's going to be 1 plus 1, or I'm sorry, 1 times 1, which is 1. Now I'm going to combine like terms, so these two radicals right here, I'm going to combine together. And at the same time, I can process this right here the square root of x minus 5 squared, well, that simply becomes x minus 5. And I'm only going to keep it in parentheses right now just to kind of show you where it comes from, okay? All right, so when I add these two together, I have root x minus 5 plus another root x minus 5. Therefore, I have two root x minus 5s. And then I have the plus 1. So now let's drop parentheses. And actually, I'm going to drop parentheses this way. There we go. All right, so I've dropped parentheses, and I'm ready to combine some like terms. So let's leave the x's right now. And I have a minus 5 plus 1, and that would be minus 4. And then I still have this radical piece right here. OK. And let's get all of our terms on the left-hand side, because we're going to end up doing a squaring again with the right-hand side. So I'm going to subtract x. Simultaneously, I'm going to add 4 to the other side. x minus x is 0 x's, and I just have 4 on the left-hand side. So 2 on the right-hand side, 2 times the radical x minus 5. And now at this point, we're going to divide both sides by 2. And while we do that, I'm going to come up here and continue my work. So I have 2 equals the square root of x minus 5. And here we have to square both sides again, because we have another radical to get rid of. So 2 squared becomes 4. When I square the right-hand side, I'm left with x minus 5. Solving for x, I add 5 to both sides, so I get x equals 9. And don't forget to check. I'm going to omit the check on the video and leave it to you because I've already shown you how to do that. So x equals 9, and when you check it, I think you will find that this works. So this is the end of this video.